Okay, hi. Uh, so thank you for inviting me and uh, thank you for joining the presentation. So um, I am here to present the double degree program we have between your school and high school. So ESX School of Management in France. Uh, oh, I think someone else is also in the waiting room. Um, so this is a double degree program between, um, so for students, uh, from your school to join our Master in Strategy and Digital Transformation or a Master in Management for Sustainability. Uh, so I'll just start with a few words about uh, ESEG. So we are a French business school. Um, and uh, so we are a school established in 1964. So we are almost 60 years old now uh, in Lille. So in the north of France, and we also have a campus in Paris since 2009. Um, we have several French and international accreditations and labels. So we are accredited by the French Ministry of Higher Education and Research, uh, which enables us to deliver state recognized degrees, um, such as master's degrees. And uh, we are also um, members of the Conférence des Grandes Écoles, uh, which is, uh, so our main program is our Grande École program, but this is not um, the programs that students would be joining. So we have also specialized masters, we have a Bachelor in International Business uh, and uh, MBA programs, um, executive education programs, and a whole range of different uh, possibilities for students. Uh, we have the Welcome to France label, uh, which is a label that was created uh, by the French government to recognize institutions that welcome students in France uh, to see how well received and how well um, integrated students are, how the quality of um, uh, institution in terms of welcoming students, of helping them find housing, uh, find funding and everything. Um, so this is something that we are quite proud of because not a lot of schools have uh, those three stars on this uh, label, uh, which we do. Um, and then we also hold a, the Triple Crown uh, international accreditations, so Equis, AACSB and AMBA. Uh, so we are one of the few schools in France that have that Triple Crown accreditations. Um, and then just a little, very quick word about rankings. Uh, so our main program, as I said, was um, so our master in management. So our master uh, grand école, as we call it, which is 32nd in 20, 2023 in the Financial Times ranking and uh, within the top 10 of the best masters in management in French, within French business schools. Uh, we are also ranked in different other rankings, such as the QS World University rankings, uh, the Shanghai Global Ranking in three subjects, and uh, the America Economia rankings for the MBA program. Um, so we have two campuses, one in Lille and one in Paris. Uh, our two programs that I am going to be presenting today, one is in Paris and the other is in Lille. So, uh, that is uh, two different uh, master's degrees, but also two different uh, way of lives, really. So the Lille campus is within the city center of Lille. Lille is very much uh, in the north of France, very close to Belgium, and that is where I am. Uh, we are a member of the Université Catholique de Lille. So the Catholic University of Lille is a very big uh, university which has a lot of member schools and this membership means that we have access to a lot of their facilities as well so students have access to their library their residence halls the sports center restaurants everything um, but ourselves as a school we also have uh, six buildings we have uh, a library an incubator uh, of course cafeteria and everything and um you may okay once I'll, I'll send the presentation and you can see uh, links to videos presenting the campuses uh, as well 
in Paris, we are in La Défense, which is uh, about in the northwest of Paris. Uh, and it is um, the business district of Paris. So this is where a lot of companies have uh, their headquarters. And this is one of the reasons why this was uh, the chosen uh, location for the for the campus, because then that means we can have a lot of direct interactions with companies and they are very close to us and that helps create links for the students um, once they are in our programs as we have a lot of companies uh, like um, visiting uh, visiting companies for students and other companies coming to share their experience to to help um, in classes as well. So in Paris, we have uh, also library and incubator, two cafeterias and everything. The facilities are pretty different in terms of buildings, but we aim to have like the same uh, quality of teaching and student life in both campuses. So because the two campuses are very close to each other in terms of uh, transport, well, very close. We can get to one campus to the other within one hour of train. So we have stu like students, not so much except for special events, but professors, for instance, or academic staff um, can travel from one campus to the other. So they have then um, possibility to cheat to teach on both campuses. So students, whether they're in Paris or in they'll get the same experience. So for the first program that um, students can join, so this is for students who, um, for you, are following the master's degree in mining engineering or in um, energy efficiency uh, to join the master in strategy and digital transformation, um, one of our postgraduate programs. And so this is, uh, as I said, one of the programs that is in Paris. This one is only in Paris. And um, so this is a master that focuses on business, of course, but also on um, mainly on strategy and digital transformation, as the name says. Um, it is a master that wants to equip students with digital technology knowledge and skills to really design and successfully lead digital transformation across different functions. So at operations, customer experience, employee experience level, but also at the corporate level, if they're um, leaders, so uh, if they're managers in terms of strategy, in terms of business model innovation. So this is something for really undergraduate students, uh, or in this case, master students joining in, in the framework of a double degree. Uh, we want students with a strong analytical, analytical background, which is really uh, the case of students usually in engineering, of course, and uh, people who want to really strengthen the business, the management skills, so you don't need to have done a lot of business before or management. Um, but if you have, of course, an interest for that, then that would be helpful. And then this is um, a program made to have to, to focus on technology and innovation management so that if you are later in managerial positions, um, in, in positions where you will need to know how this works, then you have uh, the business, the, the leadership skills and the, the digital technology uh, knowledge to really lead uh, the people that you manage with better ease. About, just a few words about the, the students currently enrolled in the program, about 40% of them are from an engineering background, uh, which is uh, something that is not necessarily the case for a lot of our other programs. So really, again, if you haven't completed uh, like an undergraduate degree in business or in uh, management, uh, that's not really an issue. And okay, I'll just uh, show you a few of the course names just so you have a little idea of what the program uh, includes. So we have 
of course, courses like focused on economics, marketing, business, but also um, introduction to machine learning and AI, um, big data analytics, legal aspects of innovation and digitization. Of course, then other intercultural management, information systems management. Um, it is still a, a course within a business school, of course. So we have uh, a lot of management courses, but really um, courses aimed at teaching you how to better use these um, emerging technologies for, for use in business later on. Uh, we also include, of course, uh, language courses. Uh, usually, if you haven't done French before, then that is going to be French. Uh, and that is accredited courses, uh, credit course, sorry. Uh, we also have then a career program. I'll speak more about that later. And we also have uh, what we call the hackathon, which is um, when some partner companies of the school will, like, present students with uh, one of their current issues related to strategy or to digital transformation. And then the students uh, like develop solutions in, in little groups and then they pitch them to the clients. So they really work within with companies to help them uh, to, to put their, what they've studied uh, in practice uh, and really with real world um, consequences and uh, yeah, um, then we have the Master in Management for Sustainability, which is for the same students as for the Master in Strategy and Digital Transformation. This one is on the Lille campus. And so this is a master that is also, of course, as the name says, uh, focused on management, but with very, really a, a very heavy focus uh, on how to really implement solutions that uh, will help with the uh, sustainability challenges. So this isn't only environmental, but it is um, a lot of in environmental uh, challenges, but also social and uh, equity, uh, diversity issues that um, are uh, and might be an issue in, in every kind of uh, job that you might get later on. So this is uh, something that would help students with um, to equip them with the tools to deal with those challenges. Uh, it does um, have courses with uh, that will help students have the basic science and technology uh, skills to to tackle these issues. But of course, if you're already done uh, a little bit of science, that might uh, be the very easy part uh, and then some of it does go into more in depth in uh, in the, the how to use uh, how to understand these challenges and how to deal with them in a capacity where they can learn from the courses and then apply uh, the 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 solutions learned in um in a real world capacity as leaders, as just uh, in any role really, where as this is something that is uh, really an issue throughout any kind of company, any kind of job, any kind of uh, real world uh, capacity. So this is uh, really something that is important to to the school as uh, so since about 10 years ago we have included courses that relate to sustainability and business ethics um, in all of our programs so all of our students have uh, courses in uh, that deal with sustainability but this is really like the very specialized uh, program for this and so we have uh, really uh, strong partnerships with companies, with organizations that work in sustainability. And this is something that students in this program will be able to benefit from as they will be working um, with uh, some of these companies, for example, within the program. Um, so just to see uh, some examples as well of courses. So. Of course, uh, I think I haven't uh, put a lot of the business side of this uh, 
of these courses as there's a lot of different courses that you can uh, have. Uh, but just to give you an idea, so uh, things like political economy of sustainability, sustainability and ethics, uh, the science and policy between climate, behind climate change, um, and then uh, a lot of uh, reflection on human behavior, environmental problems, uh, courses of diversity, equality, inclusion, um, and uh, how to manage information and data for sustainability. You also have uh, boot camps. Uh, which are then uh, very specific, uh, very, um, how to say, um, intensive uh, short courses where you will have, uh, some of it will be uh, like uh, for the previous master, it's a hackathon. So you will have a real world problem with the real company that um, wants to have solutions presented to them by, by the students but also just um, other short courses where you have to find solutions on, for example, in artificial intelligence, how to use that uh, within uh, to, to address uh, problems with sustainability. You also have company visits. Uh, there is a lot of focus on consulting skills as well, so that you may be able to uh, really deliver um, solutions to clients differently, um, different clients, sorry, uh, depending on what their issues are. Uh, and also a field project uh, where you will actually, usually for hackathon and everything, they the companies come to the school for this. And then uh, for field projects, you will also have to, to be able to go to the different companies and uh, really have work on solutions and then the final advice uh, is really pitched to to then the the companies uh, and of course also you will have language courses so same as previously and uh, other there is a of course uh, the sorry the career program as well so the career program is uh, a different, uh, some different versions uh, include, so there is uh, coaching, there's courses throughout the year that are part of the curriculum uh, of the programs. And um, you also have access to corporate events, to job fairs, um, and there is a career center in each of the campuses. So that is something that is really well developed in the school and that uh, all students have access to. So within the courses, usually uh, it can be in the form of how to really learn to negotiate a salary, how to uh, really have the best CV part, like that uh, will really help you find a job, uh, everything that will help you once you graduate. For the programs themselves, the structure is the same. So we have, um, in theory, three semesters of courses and then one semester for the internship, or it can also be uh, depending on uh, what you choose to do and what is validated by the academic director, uh, a consulting project or a thesis as well. As uh, students coming through a double degree program, the third semester of courses, so the one that starts in June and ends in October, is optional. But uh, students are, of course, absolutely free to follow the, the semester if they wish. Um, it is a semester where there is a, a lot of uh, common courses with each of the other specialized masters. So um, courses like um, innovation and new business development, with um, entrepreneurship courses and other courses of this type. Once you are done with the program, you receive a state recognized master's degree uh, with the chosen then specialization, so sustainability or strategy and digital transformation. If you would like to apply, then 
of course, you need to first apply with uh, your international relations office. Uh, but after this, we have a fairly simple application procedure, so online, where you just need to upload, of course, different documents like the passport, your transcripts, your CV. Uh, if you haven't studied entirely in English for at least two years, um, you need to, and if you are not a native English speaker, you need to have an English proficiency test score. Um, and you also have a video of motivation that we have a special platform for, where you'll have uh, about five questions that you need to answer uh, within about a minute or two. Um, it's a very simple procedure. Depending on uh, the application, you may also have an online conversation with the person that's processing your application. In that case, that would uh, most likely be me. And uh, once everything is done, once your application is complete, then you would get the admission results within th three weeks. The applications are going to open within about a month and uh, the deadline will be end of May. We have uh, scholarships for, of course, for, for students joining the double degree. Uh, first off, every student coming from one of our partner universities, as you are, gets 500 tuition reduction. Um, but then also, as uh, you are from a school that is uh, in the time network, as we are, uh, you get 2,000 euro reduction. And then there is up to 4,000 euro reduction based uh, on merit. And for the two best candidates that join us through this program, we have two scholarships of 50% on tuition fees. There is also a possibility of a scholarship through Campus France, um, as we offer five scholarships of 5,000 euro for Spanish students or students from a Spanish university. Uh, so that is according to Campus France eligibility criteria, uh, but yeah, just know that you can apply for this and uh, you may, uh, possibly get that scholarship. The, there is no separate uh, application needed to, to, to really have those uh, scholarships. You can just, uh, you, you will be considered for all of the scholarships within the school, except for Avenir where you, I think you will have to apply separately. Uh, the rest of it is just automatic and uh, the decisions are made during the admissions commission. With regards to housing, um, of course, then we have uh, different housing options. We have access to some students' uh, res residences, some private residences, and we work as well with private landlords. Uh, once you're accepted into the program, you receive a housing application guide with every information, every detail that you need uh, about possibilities and we do encourage students to really not wait, um, not wait too long until after uh, they've been accepted to, to, to really look for housing because both in Paris, of course, and in law, uh, housing can be a bit complicated. Uh, so we encourage you to really uh, look for housing as soon as you can. Um, in France, leasing contracts are going to be for one semester period minimum, but then as you would be coming for at least a year, that should not be a problem. You will have to have uh, housing insurance. And of course, if you have then any issues, um, there are teams dedicated to helping you. So our incoming international student services team is uh, here to help and is the one that is in contact with the different uh, private landlords or private res residences so they can help uh, facilitate your housing options. For costs, of course, it is a little bit cheaper in Lille than it is in Paris. Um, so we have, we usually say an average of 600 euro per month and average of 850 per month um, for rent. 
in Lille and in Paris, uh, but depending on, you know, if you want to be very much in the city centre, if you don't mind being outside of the city centre, if you share a house or a flat, uh, prices can go up and down depending on, of course, your uh, preferences. We also have, of course, clubs and associations. So over 52 clubs and associations within really all kinds of um, topics, subjects. Uh, we have, of course, an international club uh, that helps to, that facilitates trips for international students. Um, they also help organize the orientation week. Uh, with our international student services team. So that is uh, in August. So the first week that you get there, before class starts, you have a week of orientation where you have different events, different presentations on how to best uh, really integrate into French life. And if you have also any other issues with housing and everything, that's also when... Uh, you can finalize everything. As um, if you're from Europe, then you won't have too many issues with, of course, visas and everything. But if you're by any chance uh, outside of Europe, of course, we can also help with those types of uh, issues. And that is about it. Uh, we also have an ambassadors platform that. Um, where students can ask questions and then our international ambassadors uh, can help answer. So that's ESX students and alumni who have been uh, through the same types of issues that you may have, and then uh, they can help out. And we also have, of course, staff answering questions if you need. And thank you. Uh, I hope I wasn't too long. I think I was right on time. <laughs>